Joe Dimiti, TTRP TV here, sitting with Richard Vardigans. And he has an interesting story. Uh, born in England, moved to Germany 40 years ago. And I, I will let him tell his story of what he has done with opera after conducting for over uh, for a long period of his life. And he had to stop for a certain reason. So, Richard, please tell us your story of uh, this performance we saw tonight. Yes. Uh, the big question is, why does one go to Germany at all? Uh, <laughs> Uh, the answer is the, the opportunities for musicians are much more on a lower level s to gain the experience because there are many more orchestras, many more theatres than there are in the UK. So um, uh, I went in 1981 and started off at quite a big theatre in Mannheim and lost a lot of hair learning all the repertoire. But, um, but got a lot of experience working with good singers and then got the chance to conduct at Mannheim and then at other theatres and moving around as a kind of gypsy, uh, which is not easy for family life. Um, and I carried on doing that and then I became a general music director in the year 2000. But uh, in that job, that was in Annaberg in East Germany. Um, uh, but I had hearing problems then, and so conducting became more and more difficult, and I had to think of something else, and decided to present the operas in a in a lively way, and at the same time uh, bringing out the emotions that are in the opera, and trying to show at the piano how the composer, uh, how he shows... Uh, human emotions within the music and that's the basis of what I'm doing. Um, it depends very much on the piece how you present it. With La Boheme, which we've just heard, uh, you can make a few jokes in the first half but you can't make many jokes towards the end. Uh, there are other pieces which are fairly serious all the way through and other ones you can just have a laugh or others even where you can almost have a laugh. Uh, it's meant seriously by the composer, but everybody knows, like Wagner's Lohengrin, he comes in uh, being pulled by a swan, you know. And, uh, uh, well, uh, that doesn't, that's not possible, you know. Uh, uh, but it's still a very moving movement in the opera. So you have to adapt according to the, the subject matter. Um, so it's certainly not a persiflage or a parody. Uh, it's meant as a serious attempt to bring over what the what the composer wanted and how he put it into music. Wow. Well, thank you. And to my audience out there, that's what this night was. I, I'm not a, a, a. I don't go to the opera. I've been to one or two operas in my life. And uh, tonight, Richard did bring a. a Alive, La Boheme. I could even picture the when he was saying the about the arias and and what was happening. You know, I I know the story of La Boheme now, and he and he brought it to life by telling a story, playing the piano, and and then and then continuing with the story and 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 just bringing the music alive and making it accessible to the audience. And it was really really fantastic. Uh, thank you, Richard. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. TTRP TV. Joe Diamidi saying goodbye until next time.